Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Today is Monday, September 27, 2021. Now let's go to Miss Merchant and Miss Marcos for this week's brain break. Hey, Miss Merchant, do you know where blood is made? I think, I guess, somewhere inside our body. I bet you my health students know. Well, most people think that blood is made in the heart, but actually blood is made in the bone, specifically a place called the bone marrow. That's so good to know, Miss Marcos. Never thought blood came from our bones. Now, Miss Marcos, would you like to know the new SEL technique of the week? Yes, please show me. Okay, this new breathing technique will help you stay focused and wake you up. It's called elephant breathing. Now, let's start. Step one. Dangle your arms in front of your body like an elephant's trunk. Step two, as you breathe in deeply through your nose, raise your arms up high above your head. Step three, then slowly swing your arms down again as you breathe out through your mouth. Miss Marcos, wasn't this a fun breathing technique? It sure was, Miss Merchant. Boys and girls, don't forget to stay tuned for next week's health fact and SEL technique. Now back to Valencia. Bye! Thank you. Now let's go to Randy for our Hispanic Heritage segment. Thanks, Valencia. Elena Ochoa is a 63-year-old American astronaut administrator and was the first Hispanic woman to travel in space. She has logged over 100,000 hours in space. She has really made a difference and succeeded in a male-dominant field. She is an inspiring role model and really changed history. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Randy. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the soccer ball. The original game started centuries ago. People would kick around objects made from skulls, stitched cloth, and animal parts and even early South American Indians loved kicking a ball around. The first ball was created by a group of Chinese people and made from animal skin. Then in the 1800s, Charles Goodyear invented the first leather soccer ball. From then, they began to improve the design, making it inflatable, and even though the materials have evolved, the basic shape and size stayed the same. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is bean cheese burrito, salsa cup, cheese pizza, corn, pineapple tippets, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. But if it's eat, let's go do a training with Hot Topic. Thank you, Sonia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Air Jordan 1s have been a hit since 1985. Some examples of their designs are Hyper Royals, Retro High OG, and Retro High OG Polo. I'm sure they've evolved a lot. The number one candy that was rated most popular candy is Skittles. Skittles was originally created by British companies in 1974. I love the berry Skittles. The iPhone 13 has recently been released and now is one of the hottest Apple products of 2021. Fun facts, the iPhone 13's notch is 20% smaller than the iPhone 12, has an amazing camera and a longer battery life. Hopefully I can get it. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Chanel and Destiny. Scholars, the Patriot of the Month celebration is this Wednesday, September 29th. Patriots, the Fall Festival is on October 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tickets are on sale today. You can get candy, play games, and go into the haunted hallway. Sounds spooky. Calling all Super Patriots. Join us on our mission spectacular adventure to reach our already goals for quarter one. You need to get a minimum of 25 lessons for reading and math. Make sure to keep up, keep track of your already lessons to make sure you pass your goal of 25 lessons. The top three students in kindergarten to second, third, fifth, sixth through eighth who meet their goal in both reading and math will be celebrated. Are you up to the task? 
And lastly, scholars. Make sure to join our Hispanic Heritage Month Schoology page for students and teachers. The course code you use to join is at the bottom of the screen. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Valencia. Looks like today's weather is forecast to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit. We finally have sunny skies ahead. Now, in other weather news, a tropical storm named Nicholas, formed in the Gulf South Mexico, has passed by Texas, leaving behind rain, storm surges, and a massive flood. It is weakening and slowing down, so less damage is going to occur. Thank you, David. Today's birthday boys and girls are Espinel Jimenez, Rafael Jones, Miles Fraser, and Jaden Johnson. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Valencia. In honor of Hispanic heritage, we sent some ambassadors around the school to do some surprise interviews. Here's what happened. Thank you, Ms. Quadrado and Ms. King. Scholars, here are your past expectations. They are present, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia's winners. Congrats to Ms. Newton, Ms. Silvera, Ms. I am Dinkwa, Ms. Santori, Ms. Jimenez, Ms. Fletcher, Ms. Annalie, and Ms. June. You had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, which country eats the most chocolate per person? The correct answer is Switzerland. And a special shout out to Ms. Annalie for Thursday's correct answer. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What famous ship sank in 1912? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!